Hey, I'm Mike Monday, and today we're on to step seven of how to finish better music faster. Um, and yesterday we talked about fear, um, and um, today we're talking about the opposite problem, the opposite obstacle, which often stops you making music. Because I don't think I have to tell you that obviously sometimes the music production process can be pretty boring. And um, the day before yesterday, we talked about that state of flow where everything comes out incredibly easily, you work incredibly quickly, um, you can do no wrong, you get completely immersed in the task. It's your state of peak performance. And it's been well documented by scientists. And if you are under stimulated or over stimulated, you are very unlikely to experience this state of being in creative flow, as I call it. In fact, the, the, the area where you are most likely to experience it is where you're neither um, too stimulated or under-stimulated, sometimes known as the Goldilocks zone. And you know, this is the, the area that people call flow, the zone, being on the money, all of those kind of things. So obviously yesterday we talked about fear, and fear is a situation in which you might be um, overstimulated. So today we're going to talk about boredom. Um, I wrote thousands upon thousands of tracks over my 17-year career. And obviously, you do a lot of the same processes time and time again. And I, I wrote all of it. I, I uh, did all of the production. I mixed it. I did, did absolutely everything on most of on most of my tracks. Of course, I did some collaborations as well. Um, so as a result, I am very familiar with with boredom, just as I'm very familiar with fear as well. And what I have uh, realised is that in fact, boredom is actually more of a choice than you think it is. Largely my general approach, uh, my program and uh, the way that I help people is by giving you the power to choose how you react in any given situation. Because you experience all these states like fear, boredom, excitement, all of them largely through your mind, through your brain, by learning how the mind works, how to use it, and how to change um, the way that you are processing the information coming into you, you can completely change your experience of your situation. Now, there are some very practical things you can do in, in terms of boredom, of course, like, for instance, not getting bored in the first place. My program is called Start Now, Finish Fast. That is one of the best ways to avoid getting bored of the track you're working on, doing shorter, more regular sessions, taking regular breaks, things like that. But then on top of that, when you're talking about, if you're, if you're thinking about um, doing a career in music where you're going to finish lots and lots of music over the time like I did, then you're going to need something a little more, um, a little stronger, <laughs> something that, that, works in, it, 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 uh, that, that works over time. And if I ask you to recount, recount for instance, a very, really exciting event in your life, something that, that was really, um, you absolutely loved and you found incredibly excite, excited about it, and you told me the story of this event, and you really got in, into it, then on some level, you will experience at least some of that feeling of excitement. And this is essentially the kind of the core of what has become, become lovingly known uh, in the kind of start now finish fast community is the Jedi mind tricks that I teach. Because there are techniques to harness this. I mean, it's no secret that if you think about happy times, you feel happier. But there are ways of increasing th this, um, this technique, th th this feature of, of the way that we experience different states. Um, and use past events to modify whether you're feeling bored, excited, happy, sad, or, or, or whatever. Um, and if you do this regularly, then you really can start to kick off each studio session with um, quite a bang. Um, I started to do this, and it absolutely um, transformed the way that um, I created. I started each studio session doing some of these um, Jedi mind tricks. 
You see, when I start talking about this kind of thing, uh, I know there are a lot of people who think, but this isn't real. This isn't practical. You know, I need, I need, just, just give me real stuff. Give me, give me practical tools which, which work. But this works for a start. But and mo and because most of what you experience being through your brain and your mind processes what's going on, um, including in the studio. Um, you will take certain actions as a result of that experience. For instance, and, and this is where it becomes practical. Um, for instance, how many times have you loved, absolutely loved a track you've been working on, really, really excited about it, and either because you've worked on it for hours, or you've had an experience, maybe a phone call, or, or something's happened in your life which has put you into a bad state of mind. Then you come back to the track, and you, you decide that actually the track's rubbish. So what's going on there is you are feeling a particular way. You're feeling bored. Um, if you're feeling bored, then you're more likely to get bored of the track. If you're feeling frustrated, you're more likely to get frustrated with the track. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you're more likely to get overwhelmed. In fact, I would say it's more than more likely you probably will. So, and what will then happen is that your conscious mind and which doesn't have um, an enormous amount of control unless you train it, unless you use the kind of techniques I'm talking about, your conscious mind will come up with a meaning for this feeling. So you're feeling bored because of something else that's going on in your life. You're feeling frustrated because of something else that's going on in your life. And you decide, your conscious mind decides it's because the track is no good. Because it will tend to come up with a rationalization, a meaning for that feeling related to what you're doing at the time. The tune is no good, the tune is boring, or whatever else. And unless you are aware of this, unless you know how to harness your mind, you will act on that meaning and scrap it, not finish it, decide you need to learn more, decide you're useless, a million and one other things. And as a result, the practical, the practical thing that will happen is that you will not move forward. You will take concrete, practical, real actions in real life as a result of the way your brain is processing the information, a result of your state. So this is what I mean when I say change your mind and you'll change your reality. Um, because you might well have written a brilliant track. You could be onto something absolutely fantastic. You might not lead, need to learn more. The reason I'm so um, passionate about this is because I see people learning these skills, learning how their brain works, and learning how to use their brain in different ways more effectively, learning the new, the new things, the, the brain-based science that has come along just in the 10 years that they just don't simply don't teach at school, and using it to practically change what they are doing, change their situation. There's a guy, and I won't, I won't name him, I'm going to, I'm going to do a, a case study interview down, down the line, but I haven't actually asked him if I can share his story, so I don't want to, I don't want to name him, but he didn't finish a track before Start Now, Finish Fast. He, he never finished a track. He finished his first during Start Now, Finish Fast, and he's now well into the program. I think he's on month five or six, and last month he finished eight in a month. He signed his first track to a label, and he's even starting his own, la own label. How much more practical do you want to get than that? How much more real can that be as a result of learning how his creative process works, how his mind works, and harnessing all of the stuff that is going on at the moment in brain-based science, which is real, it's, it's proven, it works. He is changing his situation immeasurably. Um, people find it hard to believe, but as I said, I'm so passionate about it because I see it every single day every single day on the forum, people changing their lives because they are changing their mind. So tomorrow we are on to the last step of how to finish better music faster. Uh, it's also going to be the last daily video I do for some, for, for, uh, some time. I'm taking a break. Um, but on this page somewhere, there will be a link to sign up for my free training videos, which you can find out more about my approach and also more about Start Now, Finish Fast. Uh, if you're interested in that. So until tomorrow, uh, keep making that music onwards and upwards and just finish it already. It's good enough.